Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's Tonelli here. Guys, it's official. We have officially made it. Video game Matt is now more popular than real life Matt has ever been. I don't know if you guys saw this. A lot of people have been texting me, emailing me, DMing me, so I'm sure a lot of you have. But Video Game Mad just got his first ever article. Okay? He is, he's on top of the world. He's pumped right now. Thescore.com, after, let me say this real quick, about a week ago, they wrote that I was the biggest bust in the 2000s for the San Diego Padres. Not going to hold it against them, okay? Didn't agree with it, but not going to hold it against them. Then, a few days later, you know, they trashed on real life Matt a little bit. Then they said, you know what? This other guy, video game Matt, way better, way better than real life Matt ever was. We're going to write an article on him. Well, I guess it's a little bit about me, but it's mostly focused on video game Matt. And here it is. What a title. On YouTube, Matt Antonelli is the star he once dreamed of being. Video game Matt has just, he has fulfilled all the things that real life Matt ever wanted. Video game Matt has brought it to him, okay? So we're going to go through this article right now. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, um, Video Game Matt is basically Road to the Show, MLB The Show. Started as MLB The Show 19, now MLB The Show 20. Uh, Video Game Matt has uh, worked his way, grinded his way through the minor leagues, has made it to the big leagues, and now he's basically on his uh, track right to the Hall of Fame. So you can check it out on YouTube if uh, if you have not seen it yet. Let's Let's check out this article. Let's see what they got to say about Video Game Matt. All right, so the sun is barely squeezing through the clouds above City Field on a recent April afternoon, yet Matt Antonelli, resplendent, I don't even know what that means, in his Rockies uniform, swaggers into the batter's box with his shades on. A blonde mane spills out of his helmet. A monstrous Barry Bond-esque pad covers his left elbow and Barry Bond, they didn't put this in there, Barry Bonds-esque biceps also on Matt. As he takes his warm-up packs ahead of his first inning at bat against Mets pitcher Marcus Stroman, Antonelli's gaudy numbers flash across the screen. Again, video game Matt's gaudy numbers, not real Matt's. He's hitting 325 with a 1.282 OPS roughly two weeks into the season, which even after adjusting for the steroidal <laughs> effect of playing in Colorado is still bananas. Those are video game numbers. And this, of course, is a video game. Vicarious Wish Fulfillment made possible inside PlayStation MLB The Show 20, then broadcast to the world by Antonelli's YouTube channel. I'll say this. i got to take a pause. There's a lot of big words being used right now. I'm probably going to mispronounce a lot of these. I'm sorry about it. I just turned down like a seven-year deal for like $69 million or something, Antonelli says, playing agent for his digital avatar. I'm trying to beat Mike Trout. I want a $400 million contract, guys. I did want four hundred. Now I want five hundred. okay? After been, I've been raking for the last couple of days. I want five hundred now. Throughout his real-life baseball career, Antonelli didn't earn so much as 400000 achieving neither fortune nor fame despite a lofty draft pedigree and the considerable promise he showed as a young professional. Um, I actually did make more than 400000 but that's okay. Antonelli, an offensive-minded college second baseman who was a San Diego Padres, who the San Diego Padres selected 17th overall in 2006, played only 21 games in the big leagues. He spent the remainder of his eight-year career underperforming expectations in the minors. Well, thanks. Thanks a lot. Actually, I haven't read through this whole article. I kind of went right to video game Matt thing, so now I guess we're going to do a little bit more bashing of Matt. It's okay, though. It's not bashing if it's true. Since retiring seven years ago, however, Antonelli has cultivated a handsome following on his YouTube channel. Thanks, guys. Which boasts more than 147,000 subscribers, effectively leveraging the power of the internet and his big league experience into a thriving post-playing career in digital media. His relative recent foray into video game streaming and particularly the brilliant concept, conceit of playing as himself, I don't know what that means, and essentially reimagining his career in MLB The Show's create a player mode called Road to the Show has only buttressed his growing internet celebrity and could be a boon for his channel in the coming months with Major League Baseball on pause and fan star for baseball content. I feel like I have to go back to college to learn how to pronounce these words. Why are they so big? When I was with the Padres, I'd go out 
to eat with members of the team after games, Antonelli says. Not a single person during my career ever stopped me and said, hey, you're Matt Antonelli from the Padres. Didn't happen once in my career. But when it comes to YouTube and it comes to video games and all that stuff, when I go to baseball tournaments now as a coach, I get asked for way more autographs than ever than I ever got asked for in my entire life as a player. And that is 100% true. I am much more popular now. Oh, God, now he's going to talk about my stats. Antonelli was hardly surprised when the Indians released him from the minor league Contract less than a month into the 2013 campaign, and no other big league club came calling. Nearly five years had passed since his lone cup of coffee in the bigs. <laughs> when he hit 193, let's not talk about that. It's September call with the Padres, and Anthony subsequently was ravaged by injuries while bouncing around or bouncing between five different organizations. In his month-long stint with the Columbus Clippers, the Indians AAA affiliate, Antonelli paired in only three games. He went hitless in six at-bats. Thanks for reminding me. They cut him loose at the end of April following a four-game Set against the Pawtucket Red Sox. Antonelli, who grew up nearby Peabody, Massachusetts, didn't even bother heading back with the team to Columbus to recollect his things. He went straight home. By July, Antonelli was officially retired at 28. Well, this is depressing. My main goal when I was playing was I wanted to play in the major leagues, and it came to the point where I just didn't think I was either good enough or healthy enough to get there. I had to step away and pursue something else. Else, he says, the only teams that called were independent ball teams. The anxiety of life after professional baseball didn't phase Antonelli, who knew exactly what he wanted to do. Coach. Throughout his playing career, Antonelli would spend his off-seasons helping out his dad, a longtime travel baseball coach in their Massachusetts hometown. He knew it was something that I would probably look into doing when I was done playing. Not long after being released by the Indians, he launched Antonelli Baseball, offering private instruction for aspiring young baseball players, or ball players, while also joining the coaching staff at Wake Forest University as alma mater. As he worked towards his, the communications degree that professional baseball had interrupted. <laughs> it didn't really interrupt. I mean, I did, had no interest in, I really didn't care about my major. I tell everyone I majored in baseball at Wake Forest. And with his coaching responsibilities mounting, Antonelli relied increasingly on YouTube, which he first toyed with during his playing days as an instructional tool. Hey, there I am, working with a client in 2012. Interesting. I don't know where that article, I don't know where that picture came from. My hair was a lot better back then, huh? Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't receding like I am now. I kind of put my channel up there just to help answer some of the questions that our players were asking, Antonio says. And so we do different videos. I show fielding drills and hitting drills. That kind, that's kind of how I originally started. I did it for a while, and I really enjoyed that. I got to connect with people from all over the country, baseball fans and baseball players, looking for help, and that was great. But it wasn't as great as video game Matt. Still, their instructional merit notwithstanding, Antonelli's nascent videos were niche, 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 <laughs> tailored for serious ballplayers with serious aspirations. Why, are you trying to say that video game people don't have serious aspirations? A three-minute, 16-second video from July 13 entitled, Think the Situation Before You Do, for instance, received only 828 views. <laughs> Once Antonelli began... Centering himself in his videos, however, and mining his experience to illuminate or demystify things about life in the big leagues, his channel exploded. I was getting asked a lot of questions from people, you know, what was it like playing in the major leagues and all that stuff, it recalls Antonelli. So I did a video talking about it. I think about, I think I talked about the gear that we received as far as equipment goes. And I woke up the next day and the video had more views than any other video I put up for the previous like eight years. I realized people were interested in that stuff. The video published in 2017 was watched 462,974 times. Okay, where's video game Matt? Here he comes. Here he comes. The star of the show, Antonelli's channel has evolved into a whole bunch of different things since. And the latest addition to his content portfolio has been an outsized impact on his subscriber count and his overall profile. He has his players to thank for the MLB The Show content and his adventures in Road to the Show, wherein a player creates an avatar then navigates his ascent through the minors to the big leagues. I usually work with the high school guys a lot, Antonelli says. Shout out to the high school guys, St. John's Prep. And it's not baseball 17 you. And those guys were all playing the game. And they kept saying, Matt, you got to create your character on MLB The Show. Play Road to the Show and see if you can get back to the major leagues again. Shout out to Jack Cairns. Cairns, 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 Cairns. Just kidding, Jack. Um, Jack was the one that uh, would always tell me to play. So this is really mostly Jack. And I thought it was funny, and I was like, yeah, yeah, probably not going to do that. I haven't played video games since my kids were born, but they got on me enough, and I played a game in August. Our summer season had ended, and I played. And the same kind of thing happened. I uploaded to YouTube, and like a day later, I had 40,000 or 50,000 views, and I was like, I can't believe people are actually watching this. It was just kind of going to be a joke, but it's not a joke any longer, because Video Game Matt is... 
probably the best baseball player I've ever walked the planet. Now I've done, I think, about 80 different videos showing my road to the show character, and I've gotten a lot more subscribers because of it, and a lot more, well, just a lot more cool people to talk to. I think it just brings a different dynamic to the channel. It brings a new audience, and it's a ton of fun. And this new audience is deeply invested in Antonelli's virtual career. I go to tournaments now and travel around playing, and people talk to me about Road to the Show Matt. We call him Video Game Matt, Antonelli says. They're like, they like him more than they like me, <laughs> I think. It's been a little strange, but I've got to meet a lot of new people because of it. It's been pretty fun, honestly. It's been a lot of fun. There he is. Look at this freaking guy. It's a specimen. In hindsight, the timing of Antonelli's foray into MLB The Show couldn't have come at a better time. I'm just making up stuff now. I'm not even reading what is written. Read what's written, Matt. Right now, less than eight months after Antonelli first embarked on his road to the show journey, the appetite for video game content among baseball fans is absent. Is absent real-life baseball ravenous? I think. Again, big words. Last week, in fact, Major League Baseball started its MLB The Show miniseries, pitting 30 big league stars against one another for a virtual World Series and live-streaming every game on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. I was actually asked to, to go on there and talk a lot, which I have been in the chats. It's not like seen a jump in his MLB The Show video views of YouTube of late, and the hiatus also compelled him to create his own channel on Twitch, the preferred streaming service of video games. If you guys don't follow us on Twitch, go over and do it. Antonelli Baseball. I'm going to be doing a lot more lately also, or soon. I just think being inside with more time on people's hands, they're playing a lot more video games, he says. They've got a little bit more time to watch. Probably a few weeks ago, I started streaming games on Twitch. I'd never been on Twitch. I'd never heard of Twitch, really, before a couple months ago. But now, I've been streaming games on there, and we're growing a community over there, too. Thank you to everyone that's been uh, watching us. And thanks to Gerard for creating my MLB debut. That was awesome. So long as baseball remains on pause, video game content may well be the lone, reliable driver of traffic on his YouTube channel. Now, we're still getting a lot of people with all the other stuff, but this, this does help. So long as baseball... Uh, sorry, I already read that sentence, Matt. Go to the next one. Typically, this time of year is when I see the most growth on my channel because everyone is in baseball mode, he says. However, with MLB not playing right now, I have noticed my views on everything baseball-related outside of video games is down. Until social distancing protocols are lifted, expect Antonelli and his video game... Dope... Doppelganger? Double <laughs> I don't know what that says! To continue chugging along at a frenetic pace, jointly keeping his channel afloat and... Burnishing Antonelli's unlikely after the fact fame in the process. I'm going to have to go back and reread that whole sentence after I get off of this because I don't know what it means. Oh, my, my professors at Wake Forest would not be happy right now with me. We're going down in Georgia playing in a big tournament and I go into restaurants and kids notice me. Antonelli says of his past experience. It's the strangest, strangest thing ever. I guess that is the power of social media and the power of the internet. But it's been really, really enjoyable. I never thought this would happen, but it's a lot of fun. All right. So. So Jonah. Thanks, Jonah, for writing that. That was fun. I enjoyed talking to Jonah. Jonah seems like a good guy, kid. I don't know how old he is. Seems like a good person. And uh, he's got a much larger vocabulary than me, but that's okay. Video game Matt, especially video game Matt. Uh, video game Matt didn't even go to college. Hell, he barely went to high school. I don't even think he, I, I don't even know how he, he passed high school. But it doesn't matter now. He's in the big leagues. He's about to make $500 million, So, anyways, guys, that's what we got. Video game Matt, absolutely famous on the score.com. <laughs> Uh, I wonder how many how many video game road to the show characters have made it into articles about them. I'd like to know this. Are we the first? And it, also, if you're interested in, we talked about this on our Twitch stream last last Twitch stream. If anyone is interested in sponsoring Matt, Matt's up for sponsorships right now. Okay, Nike, Under Armour, Marucci, everybody. If you want to sponsor Matt. He's looking for big league deals, okay? So let's set it up. Forget, we got to get on this. If you know anyone that wants to sponsor Matt, let me know. That's all we got, guys. Thanks for much for watching. Thanks for cheering on Video Game Matt as we make our way to the Hall of Fame. Now we have Matty Jr. trying to get to the big leagues. I'm going to start streaming that a lot more also. Um, but I appreciate you guys watching, commenting, all that stuff. Thank you to our patrons. Patrons out there on Patreon. 
Um, and again, go over to our Twitch channel. Go to Antony Baseball. You can now uh, watch me stream over there. I'll be doing it a lot more. Every Sunday night, we have Sunday Night Baseball that I announce. And then uh, we're putting a lot more stuff up there. So, again, thanks, everyone, for watching. I really appreciate it. Stay safe. And we'll talk to you later.